I'm so disrespectful. Uh, I'm going through my little YouTube app thing. If you know, you know. I was supposed to make a part two of this a long time ago. Uh, people have been asking for it. Uh, I owe YouTube until I get 100k subscribers. That's how hard I'm gonna go. That's why I've been dropping a long, a lot of long term videos. I owe y'all a lot for the people that still rock with me. I'm gonna drop all long term video forever now. I've seen the vision. But part two of this video. Things you need to know before you buy Jordans 15 to 23. Let's get it. The Jordan 15. What can I say good about the Jordan 15? I will say this first. The new generation, shit, even my generation and beyond, do not like Jordans past 14. And the Jordan 15 might not be a good start for a lot of people, but I honestly like the Jordan 15. The Jordan 15 has a lot of sleeper colorways that people don't know. But that's one thing you should look into. But what I should, what I would say about Jordan 15s is they kind of hard to style a little bit. I will say that before you buy them. Jordan 15s can turn a lot of people off. It's this goddamn tongue. It don't really irritate me, but I can honestly say I know why you guys don't like this shoe. I get it. But I promise you, if you look at the archives of Jordan 15s, it's some good Jordan 15s. Please trust me. Jordan 16. You know how many people haven't experienced the Jordan 16? I haven't really got the experience. I just, I didn't get to wear these, matter of fact. These are dead stock. Jesus Christ, did y'all see that? The Jordan 16 is a sleeper to me. That's what I will say about the Jordan 16. God, Nike, you guys watch my Instagram and TikTok. I know you guys do. If you watch the YouTube and my OG community, can we get Cherry Woods? And can we get Ginger 16s? Other than that, the Jordan 16, especially without the shield thing, is ugly. I'm going to keep it real. Some people like it like that, not me. Uh, it's not the most attractive shoe, but the Cherry Woods and the Gingers are fire. But that's the only thing positive I'm going to say about this shoe. I don't even know how comfortable they is. I've never got to wear these. They don't drop any 16s. That's a bad thing. Last time they dropped some 16s was like 2018 or something like that. Nobody bought those. You can't, Nike can't get, get you can't even get mad if the people don't even like them. They haven't even experienced them. Just saying. The Jordan 17. Do you guys have a Jordan Pass 14 that is your favorite number? Mines have always been the 17. In this college blue colorway. These are dead stock, by the way. Would you believe me if I told you I got these for 80 bucks? They were intact and everything. I tried to put my foot in them a little bit. Can you see that? It's a giant crack. Oh, you can tell that the bottom's dead stock. I said that. Uh, I love the 17. A lot of people might not like these. I do have other 17s. Go up a size. Not the most attractive shoe in the world of some, but love them. Favorite Jordan past 17. I'm gonna say I'm only gonna speak positivity about them. Uh, I love that we getting some this year, but release this college blue colorway or the Wizards colorway. Do us, do us that favor. Nothing bad to say about the 17. Can we get a quick moment of silence for these? Oh, Amen. Jordan 18. I love this GD colorway. But God, is this the blockiest shoe I've ever seen. It literally, it literally looks like a block. I love the Jordan 18. I'm not going to say love. I, I like. It's like that girl you know you're not supposed to be with. But you but you low-key got a thing for it's the jordan 18 for me uh especially in this black and blue suede colorway the jordan 18 can be very roomy i'm not gonna say hard to style but they're definitely on the bulky side 
like you wear some skinnies with these so if you try to get some tight jeans it's gonna look like you got cinder blocks on your feet go baggy with these take my advice I, I, I've tried I'm, don't get me wrong I'm no fit guru I'm just like a dad for the most part old shit but the Jordan 18 is a bulky ass shoe be aware if you buy and it can be a little pricey too like a lot of these Jordan that you don't see every day could definitely be on a pricey side so definitely stay on watch about that because I wanted these in my collection it's like the only colorway I like I like the white and red ones too but God, I had to pay like 200 for these. And and that was pre-owned. I don't mind buying pre-owned, but it's like 200 And that was on the low end. Like, other prices would be like fucking like then at $300. I'm like, yeah, not for no Jordan 18s. But I, I can say I got a decent deal for these. What is that one Jordan that you refuse to wear? Or you think is the ugliest Jordan? Jordans 1 through 23 of all time. I have to say it's the Jordan 19. I I think this is the ugliest Jordan. Yes, I said it. I said it. I, I just don't see nothing appealing. Oh, what do you have in your in your in collection? If for collection purposes only. You can see I don't even wear these motherfuckers. Um I will say this though. If I don't say nothing positive. The Jordan 19 do look good on feet. I'm not going to even lie. I did not expect that. I just don't find this shoe attractive at all. That's just me. Everybody probably got different opinions, but I think the Jordan 19 is the ugliest Jordan. 1 through 23. I don't go past 23. If you do, to each his own. But 1 through 23 the ugliest one debate with me in the comments what is that one shoe that came out when you got into shoes it was the jordan 20 for me this was around 2006 they actually came out 2005 this is my exact pair that i got on sale in 2006 for like 50 bucks i just have a special attachment to jordan 20s I love them. A lot of people gonna call them the house arrest shoes. I've heard all the jokes in the world. But I'm cool with that. As long as I like them. But I will say this about the Jordan 20. The Jordan 20 looks horrible with pants. If you can style them better than me, go ahead. My advice. They look good in the summer nice shorts have you want to wear i'm just wearing with shorts i don't give a shit pants is a no no with these dude. I, it's a no i i can't man i've tried joggers it don't look good but if you can style them send me a pic on instagram i would love to see it uh jordan 21 oh i'm gonna be real this is another one that's uniffy side. I can agree with that. But it has some elite colorways. That cool gray colorway is solid. The white, black, and red ones, solid. And all my OG collectors know that red 21, red suede, fire. That's it. <laughs> Why well, I have this black one, I got these back in the day for like 30 bucks. I can't turn down $30 shoes, but yeah, the 21 decent colorways. Uh, yeah. If this is like the halfway point for shoes, they might be like below that an inch. I can see why people don't like them. I do like them, but the red suede ones. I mean, this all black one is cool too, but the red suede ones is a grill. 21s on the iffy set i did see a recent pick of polo g wearing them i it's i hope he don't bring in like people that don't like jordan's past 14 uh and try to bring them into like the vintage or og jordans that's gonna blow me it's a debate 
that this might be the ugliest Jordan of all time. This is the best colorway for the Jordan 22. I'm, I'm not finna argue with you. Go look at the archives of the Jordan 22. Maybe the black one's a pass. But the Jordan 22, arguably the ugliest shoe in Jordan's 1 to 23. I have nothing positive to say about these. Again, you're going to ask me, why do I have these? Collection purposes. Now, when I when I tell you the price I got them for, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, for sure. You That ain't bad. Box included everything. 40 bucks. Can't beat that. I ain't mad at that. But would I wear this shoe? Absolutely not. Now, I don't think they look the worst on feet. I've definitely put them on feet before. And these are still wearable. I'm not getting no bitches in these. I'm not going to lie to you. But that's okay. These are these are definitely on the trash side. So if you don't like them, I understand. Uh, who remembers that basketball one too? The Jordan 22 was just wild times. We're going to pass on these. <laughs> please, 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 please tell me it is others out there that love the 23 as much as I love the 23. This is such a slept on silhouette. They got a bunch of fire colorways. We all thought, if you come from that era, we all thought this was the last shoe in the Jordan brand lineup. They put so much detail and love into this shoe, man. It's, it's, <laughs> a lot of people hate this shoe, but I love 23s. Did you guys see that college collection? Oh my. Oh my God. Fire, bro. I love 23s. I have several pair of them. Um, super detailed. Now, is it for everybody? Absolutely not. But you know how it is. People are only going to wear shit if it's popular. I, I love that the 23 was never really that popular. It was a couple of fakes back in the day. They, it was terrible, though. But the 23 to me is a beautiful shoe. They look good on feet. Uh, you can, I, I, If you want to bust them with fits. But they just a beautiful shoe. I super slept on. Please tell me it's others that like the 23. Well, that was it for Jordans 1 through 23. Should I do a part three with shoes that aren't Jordans? Because this bag gets super deep. I am not just a Jordan collector. I collect shoes. I have over 500 plus. And like I said, this bag can get really deep. And I might do a part three of every shoe damn near. And give y'all an idea and a feel of what they feel like and what you should know before you buy. Let me know in the comments. I'll do a part three.